Hi, in this video, we'll go over the context diagram that we have been using uh, to explain to the nonprofits the functionality that can be built out using Salesforce, and more specifically using the nonprofit success pack or um, NPSP from Salesforce. So, everything on this picture, all the use cases, uh, can be implemented using Salesforce. Some of the use cases are configured from the base um, NPSP plat product and some are customizations on the base uh, Salesforce platform. And some others like, um, for instance, surveys are extensions to the platform from uh, AppExchange. Now let's dive into the context diagram and uh, look at the actors and the use cases that they're associated with. Uh, let's start with the uh, front end staff, uh, development and marketing. They are able to uh, manage all the fundraising activities using uh, Salesforce, like managing donations, memberships, grants from organizations, and they're able to manage uh, contacts and, uh, and the organizations that uh, the nonprofit uh, is working with. So uh, running campaigns that uh, reach out to potential donors, uh, they're able to work with leads and uh, work the deals and convert them into pledges and uh, donations. Uh, then you have the donors and members who are able to carry out uh, self-service functions themselves uh, and make payments, perhaps through your website that is uh, integrating with Salesforce behind the scenes. Now, if you look at the uh, program delivery side of the house, on the right-hand side of the diagram, you have uh, program managers and uh, volunteer managers. And for most nonprofits we talk to, it first comes as a surprise that uh, Salesforce can be used for the delivery side of the house beyond the um, fundraising processes. So you have uh, program managers who are uh, planning and running the programs. This is the core uh, mission of the nonprofit, uh, be it not running classes or be it uh, running a shelter or building houses or what have you. Similarly, the um, volunteer managers are onboarding volunteers, they're assigning volunteers to programs and so on. Uh, let's uh, finally look at this use case called uh, manage the retail sales of products and services. It's, uh, it's common for many nonprofits to promote and sell merchandise. Uh, the most famous um, example possibly is the uh, Girl Scout cookies. Uh, they even uh, uh, many nonprofits uh, are also promoting and selling programs for a price to the uh, partners uh, or public at large. Salesforce allows you to manage these uh, opportunities and transactions as well. Uh, you can think of um, several adjacent functions like uh, running surveys for, uh, for the participants of the programs who are benefiting from the programs. Uh, and uh, there are a number of popular app exchange tools for managing the surveys. They uh, administer the surveys, collect the survey results, and uh, report on the data. So it's common on uh, our implementations uh, for nonprofits to integrate um, survey tools and associate the survey results to the uh, other functions. Uh, we at Varasi uh, have built out extensions to the uh, NPSP using the base platform, uh, the base Salesforce platform for uh, uh, functions like the retail sales for program management, uh, among others. So there, uh, for the nonprofits amongst you, hope that was a good uh, overview and a good starting point for your um, scoping of your uh, Salesforce projects.